Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfectionellus, where medicine makes perfect sense. We continue our playlist called Signs in Medicine. In the previous video, we have talked about the Tennell test. Today, it's time for the Fallon sign or the Fallon test or the Fallon maneuver. This one here, the Tennell test, and this one is the Fallon test. Both of them are used to diagnose carpal tunnel syndrome. And with that said, now let's get started. First, let me answer the question of the previous video. Here is your carpal tunnel. And here are the carpal bones behind the carpal tunnel. Can you tell me what are bones number one, two, three, and four? And there you go. Number one is called the pisiform. Two is the triquetrum. Three is the lunatic, the lunate. And four is the scaphoid. The last video was the tunnel sign. And in that video, I've taught you how to remember the brachial plexus and the mnemonic was just five fives. You need to know five fives in order to remember everything about the brachial plexus. So please watch my previous video. The brachial plexus is way easier than you think. You see this M right here? That's your median nerve. The median nerve is mixed. It has sensory fibers and motor fibers. The root, everywhere where there is brachial plexus. Origin at the axilla from two roots, lateral root and median root rather root from the lateral cord of the brachial plexus medial from the medial cord of the brachial plexus it passes under the flexor retinaculum in the hand and into the carpal tunnel it ends just after the carpal tunnel at the distal border of the flexor retinaculum and then the median nerve will give you two branches medial terminal branch and lateral terminal branch this is your carpal tunnel right here the dot line okay what are these okay, the circles these circles are the tendon of flexor muscles this one is your beautiful median nerve in front of it flexor retinaculum behind it you have the carpal bones easy peasy lemon squeezy medicosis schmeezy let's talk more about the carpal tunnel so what is it it's a freaking fibro osseous canal in front of the wrist and it gives path to the tendons of your flexor muscles boundaries anteriorly it's bound by the flexor retinaculum posteriorly carpal bones and their interosseous ligaments super sophisticated stuff what are the structures that pass through or inside the carpal tunnel you have the median nerve don't ever forget this if you say everything but forget the median nerve well there is no hope for you sorry well there is always hope there is just no chance next you have eight tendons of flexor muscles four tendons of the flexor digitorum profundus and four for the flexor digitorum superficialis the flexor pollicis longus has just one tendon and this one tendon is included within the carpal tunnel and don't forget the recurrent branch of the deep palmar arch my median nerve can get injured above the elbow below the elbow or inside the carpal tunnel when it gets injured in the carpal tunnel, we call this carpal tunnel syndrome. It's a compression of the median nerve while passing through the carpal tunnel. Causes a risk factor, dislocation of bones, thickening of tendons, compression of the nerve by a tumor or a myxedema, congenitally narrow tunnel, and some occupations. Consequences, mostly motor deficits. If it's so severe, you will get a flattened thinner eminence because in the good old days, the thinner eminence was supplied by your median nerve. But now in carpal tunnel syndrome, your median nerve uh, rests in peace and therefore your thinner muscles will atrophy and you get atrophy of the thinner eminence. Tinnel test discussed before, you tap on the flexor retinaculum. A positive test, doctor, doctor, I feel pins and needles. This is called paresthesia or tingling and numbness. This can happen in carpal tunnel syndrome, but it can also happen in normal subjects. Now it's time for the Jimmy Fallon sign. Just joking, the Fallon maneuver. Basically, you ask the patient to do their hands like this. Why? Because you're stretching the median nerve. If the median nerve is compressed, the patient is gonna feel pins and needles. You can also ask the patient to do it like this. Same thing, you're also stretching the median nerve in the opposite direction. And the patient should stay still. Uh, for how long? For one minute. What's a positive test? A positive test when the patient feels pins and needles. Also, please don't forget, before doing special tests, you need to examine the thinner eminence and the hypothenar eminence. Because let's get organized. Inspection and palpation come before special tests. Now, here is a brilliant way to remember your carpal bones. Thank you, Picmonic. Some lovers try positions that they can't handle. Many people know this mnemonic, but here Picmonic made it visual. Okay, so some lovers try positions that they can't handle. Some 
scaffold. You see those rowdy lovers? Yep, they were trying positions on the scaffold. And by the way, here is lateral and here is medial. So the scaphoid bone is lateral. Next, lovers, the lunate. And here it's depicted by the lunar moon. Tri, T, triquetrum. Here is a triangle queen. Positions, pisiform, pizzaformer. We went from lateral to medial. We'll do the same thing in the second row, from lateral to medial. Let's do it. That, trapezium. Okay, here is a trapeze. Next is the trapezoid. This is they. Can't handle. Can't is C. The captain. The capitate. Handle is the ham mate. Ham mate. Picmonic is just awesome. You can try them for free at picmonic.com slash VIP hookup slash medicosis and they will hook you up. The picmonic about carpal tunnel syndrome was discussed in the previous video. Please remember we treat carpal tunnel syndrome with the three S splints, surgery, steroids. For more awesome picmonics like this one, go to picmonic.com slash VIP hookup slash medicosis. They have more than 1400 pictured mnemonics. They are animated and then they will ask you questions afterwards. If you love this video, you will enjoy my antibiotics course on my website, medicosisperfectionaries.com. We talk about antibacterials, antifungals, antivirals, and antiparasitic drugs. It comes with 40 videos, 70 questions, 35 cases with answers, my notes, and a mind map. I also have other courses for CNS pharmacology, autonomic nervous system pharmacology, and cancer pharmacology. You can get a 30% discount towards anything on my website. Just use discount code SAVE30, available for the next 24 students only. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button to join the tribe. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses. Go to Picmonic for some funny animated mnemonics. Thank you for watching. As always, be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionaris, where medicine makes perfect sense.